So what's it mean to you to have the, uh, have the record? I mean, I feel real good right now. I mean, this means a lot to me. I mean, I'm real excited to have this record stand to my name for depending on how many years. But I'm really excited. That's the most exciting thing. I want to get it done early tonight as early as possible and uh, kind of move on to get the win. Well, uh, we, we were just going to figure out how the game flows and whatever they give us. Whatever they give us. So I guess they gave us, they gave me a lot of days, a lot of looks. So I just stepped out and came out here and made big plays. Are you glad the big play was on a long touchdown like that? Were you able to break some tackles and whatnot? Yeah, I was really excited to have that for the long run. I mean, to break that record, that's the first thing that I thought after I caught that pass. I was like, oh, this could be it right here. So I just came out there and tried to do the best I could to get into the end zone. Doriel, not just a big game personally, but you guys win the district outright and you win the most games in school history. What does all that mean to you happening on the same night as these personal records? I mean, coming in here as a freshman, I mean, I would have never thought or never saw myself being this player, this type of player. But then a lot of people came into my life, stepped up, I mean, just followed me. So, I mean, I look back to all that and just they're the one who encouraged me to come out here to be this type of player. What were your feelings coming into the game? Were you a little nervous until it happened or were you okay? I mean, coming into this game, I was really excited because I knew this would be the game for me to break this record. So I came out here to just pull it off and do the best I could. So now that you already broke the record, what's what's next? You already broke 6,000 too. <laughs> to just finish this season strong. I mean, to keep going on with my teammates and just finish my senior year real strong. Has it sunk in yet that uh, the high school runs nearing its end? I mean, yeah, it's, it's, this is like pretty much the closest to the end, so I just got to finish this, finish these last few games and push our team, then where after that, then just get myself ready for college. You notice the other uh, the other fans give you a standing ovation? Yeah, I mean, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody out here who came out here who supported me. I mean, this is real big for me. I mean, all these people have been in my life since I came in as a freshman, and they're going to still be there until I keep going on. You, you've had a lot of great moments in your career. How? Where would you say this ranks up there? Oh, this is top. This is top of the moment right here for me. I'm really excited right now. <laughs> when did you first realize that you had a shot at the record? Uh, at the start of the season, I thought that I had a good shot at the record coming in with like a lot of yards. I so Dad was like, "All right, we got a goal to set. So this is the goal and the finish. Yeah, I made it. This is it." What's it mean? You had all three of your quarterbacks back here. I saw, you know, Mitch, obviously, and, uh, you know, the other guys that were here. What's it mean to have all three of those guys back? Seemed like you were pretty happy to see them. Yeah, I was real excited to see them. I mean, all of them are a part of this right now. I mean, they're the one who threw these balls to me for four years, so I just want to share this with them. I'm curious, as an 18-year-old, how does it feel to already be compared to guys like Randy Moss, Calvin Johnson? <laughs> I mean... It's tough. I mean, for people to just come out here and be like, oh, you could be the next Randy Moss, you could be the next Calvin Johnson. But, I mean, I, I was excited to hear about that. So I was like, oh, I could do big things right now for this community. So it's just the best for me. And Ken, can you think back to your freshman year when, when you first started? And I mean, you, you had a notable season, but from, that, from then to be at this point now, What's that journey been like? Oh, my freshman year is what made me this type of player. I mean, after my freshman year got over, I was like, oh, I could be a really good player. I just got to keep playing hard and set goals for myself before I graduate. And this is the goals that we set, so. Can you just kind of walk us through that uh, long touchdown? What was the play on that, the 81 yard? Uh, I don't know the exact play, but the route was it. It was a spot route, just to hurry up, quick turn, just catch and go. So that's what I did, just caught it and go, and just made big plays out of it. Uh, Recruiting-wise, you got some visits set up? Uh, not just yet. I mean, I haven't talked about any visit or nothing like that. I mean, I just want to see what goes on for now, what time I have to see if I got open time to be able to take those visits. Basketball season starts for you guys right after this, so not a lot of time for you. I mean, it's, it's not a lot of time. I mean, it's just, I mean, I'm going to take my time, I mean, to get right. I mean, after football season is over, I'm just going to take a lot of time to rest up before basketball so I won't feel like any big injuries going into basketball and have to sit and not having to play in my U.S. Army All-American game. Are, are you planning on an announcement at the Army game, or do you have any idea when you plan to do that? Uh, it just depends on what goes on at the time, like, like what schools that I really liked at that point. Because that's later on, so I'll just have to just wait and see what happens. Jacob!